Coast Guard Ripium over here inside beautiful Harmony, 4th of July weekend. Part of the High Antique Center. Have the Saddle Shoe 55. We figured out this engine. Talked to the fellow, he's from over home at one time anyway. And then, um, it's a Buick engine. It's a very valuable engine. It's from 1964 and wasn't made very long. We think. And I seen that car last night with, it was said Grand Sport. Um, it was a convertible, it was blue. It had what I think was that engine. Possibly my favorite car last night at um, the Rod Knockers in Marion. Spoke to the owner of this. Um, he said it has 18,000 miles on it. It's from over by home there. And we're going to the Mechanicsburg show next week. And he bought it directly from the fire department. It runs good. It's a beast. Pretty sweet short bed Chevy with a flare side. I think these guys show from over home. There's a couple of these cars there too. One of them has a, a Vista roof in it. And then yeah, they're probably in the antique mall right now. And that's where we're going I guess. So I'm rushing through here. Um, pretty sweet show car there. Like the collar and everything. A uh, chop top. Hmm. Pretty cool F1 there from the day. Cause them big tires on that Roadster. A Dodge Pilar with a 440. Yeah. 440 mag in there and the player. Four door car with the push button over to the extreme left. It had the FM Sparkomatic uh, converter for the AM radio. This is the last call on the 37th Chevrolet. <laughs> I was over here looking at that one earlier. Oh, check out the Wiener Mobile. Yes, sir. Wiener. Here comes the guy wants to take a picture of it, David, before you get out of here. Look at that. That 37 Chevy is for sale. This and one was for sale too. They like it, or one like it anyway. It'll be in Urbana tomorrow. Urbana. Oh, I forgot about that. I gotta go to Urbana tomorrow. A Wildcat here. See, this is a similar engine. What? You talking me or? No, this right here. I'm. Oh. The the Saddle Shoe 55 has an engine similar to that. What did 55? <laughs> The one on the end, the saddle shoe one. Is that a Buick? The engine is. This is a 425. They made a 401 too. That's a 425 there. Yeah, nice car. A 401 and a 425, and then I think he's saying like 455 or you something. Well, that's a flathead. Is it? Five flathead. Mm. What they call her nail head. Called a nail That's head. That's the term I tried to use, and he didn't. Nail head, yeah. right? Yeah, nail head. And he's, he was saying they only made them in '64 for a 64. short time. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the valley being underneath. Uh, That's the difference. That's what I was seeing. Usually, I was like, That's not Chevy. And yeah, usually it takes 15 miles. I had an instructor at diesel school. He raced his. Oh, yeah. It was a Wildcat. Yeah. And, uh, huh. It was about. For as much weight as it was, I mean. But today everything's like 10 second cars for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. They probably put them LS in it. If you was doing 10 back then, you was just really ripping through there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I, I like this one. I, I'm, and I'd like to go to a show of them and stuff. It's a, it's a bigger car. This is a Benz. This is actually a blue car. It looks silver from here, don't it? I'm still the only guy with an electric car, though. He has that engine in that car, too, that we were looking at. And he calls it a nail head. It's a 64. Okay. This, this one here, this one is all electric. Huh. Come on. Uh, I need to go to the show. 
That's a Quaker Steak and Lube but again. But that's a good show. If you want to see some Mini Coopers. Wow. That's that Dave Chappelle, that comedian guy from Yellow Spring. He rides a uh, Royal Enfield motorcycle. You see him once in a while. Yeah, he's got a bunch of houses. The one with the gate in the front? Yeah. Up a hide road. I videoed it and they struck my video for showing his house. He gets a million bucks every time he gets on stage. So, yeah, I want to get a closer look at this guy someday when it's not a gazillion degrees out. It'll be up to uh, Urbana tomorrow. The Daytona. With that engine, that guy had that laser pickup like this one's a laser. It was it was it was something with an R. And uh Rampage and uh pickup with that engine. We used to have to do the timing timing belts in them engines were horrible. And a very sexy uh fuel -y. This car very beautiful. Yes. GT 350 Mustang. Wow. With a white stripe. They're having fun over here. Looking, talk about cleaned up and looking good, man. Woohoo! Where's my one friend at? Oh, I don't know where he's at, but we got a lot of people probably in there checking out what's new inside. That's where I'm headed. The Chrome Yellow 48er. He moved his Corvette over here from over there and uh, joined the car show at uh, noon to four once a month through summer at the largest antique mall in the world along the busy Interstate 70 inside beautiful Harmony, Ohio with Burger Reed. Thanks for watching. God bless America.